So it's national day today. I know I should most probably be, you know, going out in the streets, seeing the fireworks, hanging out with my friends because it's a public holiday. But at the same time, I have too many damn things to do. I have my Korean test on Friday, another presentation on Friday as well. Next week, I have two videos to edit and another research presentation. So it's a lot. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm a little bit scared for my Korean test. Currently it's a Tuesday, the test is on Friday. So uh, we're still trying. I almost wanted to make steam egg, but then I This is a prototype of a food wastage measuring dustbin. Um, it's like just a physical prototype. Yeah, and we called him Dustin. Ain't that adorable? Friday finally came along, so let's go! I woke up at 6 for my Korean test, and it ended up being quite okay. After that, I changed out into my presentation clothes to prepare for my presentation for the Dustin project along with my group, and eventually helped to hand up all the documents. By the time it was done, it was already around 3pm, and I was drained as heck, but I still had to edit my BTS documentary. Tomorrow, my group mates are actually out to film, and originally, I didn't need to go since I was just meant to edit a video. But then, <laughs> my director got COVID, so I have to stand in as director now. I mean, it's not like I've never done it before. It's a little bit last minute, so I'm a little bit frazzled. But hopefully, I'll be able to go boss my way through. <laughs> Luckily, I went to check our script because it does not correspond with the shoot script, which is essentially a list of all the shots that we need to take. <sighs> I really do want to kill my group mate. <laughs> We were supposed to meet at 8am the next day, so I had to wake up around 6.30 since I had to take the bus to our destination which is roughly on the opposite side of Singapore from where I live. Our assignment is to film an infotainment about Admiralty Park. With 27 slides, it is one of the biggest parks in Singapore, so we wanted to sell it as a place for youth to have fun. However, in the end, it ended up being a park with a lot of monkeys. Like, it got so bad that our equipment got ambushed at one point. Do it. He's breaking your back. Yeah. <laughs> The filming process also wasn't very smooth sailing. For one, it started raining so we had to pause the production. I used the time to just review the shots we already had and also tried to just familiarize myself with the scenes to calm my nerves. But honestly, it didn't really help a lot. Like, it was so bad that all I had was a Kit Kat and that Kit Kat lasted me the entire day. I don't know how to take care of myself. Anyways, once the rain stopped, we got back to filming. It was pretty tiring since there was a lot of walking and I also had to carry most of the equipment since my friends were pretty busy and by the time we went to film the final scene, I was so tired, I just wanted to pass away. It was definitely an experience though since if it wasn't for this assignment, I would most probably not even come here and there were also some really touching moments that we caught on camera. After a whole 12 hours of filming, we wrapped and headed home. But even then, I couldn't sleep just yet because I had to redo my shot log. I'm technically supposed to do this as I film, but I kind of like gave up halfway because I was too tired, so <laughs> production work is not for me. 
I don't think I did a very good job. In fact, my original director ended up basically reshooting the whole thing because some of the shots weren't right. And while no one blames me for it, since they knew I had to work with a really irresponsible and uncooperative groupmate, I still felt really guilty and just tried to help out as much as I can. It's already been a month, but honestly, I'm still reflecting on this whole fiasco, but yeah. The rest of August was really just spent preparing for our presentations. Tomorrow is my game show presentation, and while I'm scared, I'm still pretty excited for it, so all the best. I wasn't really able to film the entirety of the whole thing. It was pretty fun, and there were also some really questionable things from the other groups. It was definitely not the best term I've ever had, and it took a toll on me mentally, but it's all over, it's all in the past, and all I can hope for is that the next term would be better. And I'm just really looking forward to this two-month break because I feel like I really need it. But anyways, yep, yeah, that's all for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video, stay safe, and have a great week ahead. Bye!